Hello, and welcome back to Assassin's Creed Odyssey. I'm Captain Killer, and this is part 104 of my playthrough as Alexios. Like I said in the last episode, I'm going to complete the locations formerly locked by the knowledge sequence, and then take a look at the remaining quests. Starting here at the Oris Repository. So let's make our way in and start clearing it out. I should try to stay out of sight. Interesting. <laughs> Seems to be just about an exact copy of the Archive of Hephaestus. And as I say that, I see the difference right here. Because there used to be a codex right there. But now it's over here. Let's grab this. Whoops. That was lucky. But now I have to take out the rest of these guards pretty quickly. Okay, well I kind of abandoned stealth on that one a little bit, but I think it all worked out. Now we need to grab the data cache. And 
let's check out these plaques. Aita the Great Mind. The Cassis Vasilev's Poseidon, cycle 16.111. Before I banned him from Atlantis, Aita was one of the greatest minds of the Illuminat cast. Second only perhaps to his brilliant partner, Juno. Aita was a force for good in numerous schools of scientific development, including biological research, planetary exploration, and energy efficiency. Beginning his journey by helping to develop the wings of Hermes, Aita ensured the security gateways made life safer for all. As he worked under the school of Consus, Aita was pivotal in developing new and advanced medical technology still used today. However, due to his refusal to stop human experimentation, Aita was banished back to Feian. To my knowledge, his genius has produced no new revelation since, though if directed properly, his great mind will continue to innovate for better or for worse. Get some backstory on the guy we learned about last episode. Hey everyone, just like last episode, I found the codex plaques in the wrong order. So here is where I'm going to cut them together so that they all make sense and you get the story in the right order. Encrypted message from Fanes, one of four. Hybrid DNA detected. If you are reading this, it means we were discovered and I have been dead for several years. But if you are reading this, you should know we succeeded in creating a miracle. And that miracle, my precious one, is you. You must have many questions. I wish I could answer them. Unfortunately, by abandoning Project Anthropos, I lost access to our technology, specifically the blueprints of the lost work done by the scientist Consus. I knowingly gave up any chance of consciousness preservation, and it was the best decision I've ever made. Your existence is worth all of this. End file. I think this is the last codex over here. And there's one more codex on the other side. Encrypted message from Fanes, two of four. Hybrid DNA detected. I'll do my best to explain how and why you exist, but I must be brief. They can trace my brain signatures, concentrating for extended periods of time alerts them to my location. My name is irrelevant, but you can call me Fanes. I was the first scientist to successfully create a human being. The other Isu have already wiped my name from the records. Our aim was to create a species in our own image. They were to be resilient, self-aware, and ultimately subservient. I had succeeded on all fronts except subservience. The Isu authority in Eden, the city from which I come, threatened to terminate the project and destroy the lives we created. I could not let this happen. Footsteps approach. I must hide. File end. Well, this is getting interesting. Ah, here we go. Another tablet. Encrypted message from Fanes, three of four. Hybrid DNA detected. I should be safe for a few moments. Yes, humans weren't obeying Isu and the project was under threat of termination. Fortunately, at this time, new technologies were in development incorporating the incredible properties of a metal known as adamant. I implanted neural controls into the brains of our human subjects, which would then manipulate with our new adamant-powered devices. I very quickly became the most highly regarded scientist in all of Eden. But this came to an end when I fell in love with a human woman. She was brilliant, beautiful, so I did the unthinkable. I surgically removed her neural control, and we escaped. File end. Encrypted message from Fanis. Four of four. Looks like I'll have to do some editing to get these in order. Hybrid, data de hybrid DNA detected. We were driven from Eden, hoping to find refuge in Atlantis. Despite having to constantly look over our shoulders, I never felt more alive than during my time with my love, especially when we discovered she was pregnant. I never in my wildest calculations imagined this to be possible. She had a girl growing inside her, and she was to be named Eve. 
we both knew the offspring of human and Isu parents would immediately be confiscated and experimented on. Our situation became even more dangerous. You were to be protected at all costs. Of all the humans I helped create, you, Eve, were the most exquisite. The most precious to look into your eyes is to find they've located me. I must file end. Interesting. I think that's calling back to uh, Assassin's Creed 2. Which is a pretty deep cut. With the uh, subject 16 story. Excuse me. Wasn't there another thing up here? No. And there's the Ostraka. And the location completed. I'm going to do another lap in here and make sure I haven't missed anything and make my way to the next location. The watch will be vigilant here. Our next location is the Tinia Archive. And this looks a lot like the close Here we go. There's the treasure. Looks like all that's left is the captain. But the question is, can I get him without alerting the statue? of damage. Okay, Codex. Persephone on the Great Degasis. Another day in paradise. No blade of grass out of place, no flower petal off shade, not a single cloud in sight. Most importantly, not a trace of my husband. I could almost forget I'm trapped. 
I've gilded each bar of my cage and filled it with only the most worthy souls. Except that one. Is it an intruder? Not an Elysium. You don't belong here. Another peek into Persephone's psyche. Hello. Very nice eagle. And there's still a treasure I haven't grabbed. I think that's it though. Location completed. Off to the next one. Uh, I missed this codex earlier. Hades on the Great Digastis. Ross. Can't be dead. That dog was the last thing my queen and I truly shared. Oh, Ross. You were most loyal to her, but I loved you too. How dare the Keeper value human life over yours. But I have no time to mourn. It's time to face your killer, and I'll be hanged if he sees me cry. Interesting. This is some very uh, recent pieces of information. I don't want to be spotted here. Her next location is the repository of Iris. Our next location is the repository of Iris, so let's get to work. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this treasure. Gonna go ahead and grab this. Whoops. Time to die. Thank <laughs> you. 
Well, this fight went very strange. But we got the job done. So let's grab this ingot and check out the codexes. The Father of Atlantis, one of two. The Cassis Basilefs Poseidon, cycle 44.91. The burden of judgment has always been a heavy one, but I find the weight getting harder to bear with each passing cycle. I have outlawed experimentation on humans for its innate cruelty, and it is the first of my laws that will carry through every coming cycle. I see now that the lust for power corrupts the pursuit of genetic engineering in Atlantis. Either the Isu wield technology to control the humans, or the humans end up trying to use technology to surpass the Isu as foolish as that is. In both cases, the results are catastrophic. Thankfully, I know Atlas safely confiscated every DNA manipulator. So now there are DNA manipulators. Interesting. complete Let's see what this is the father of Atlantis part two of two the Cassis Vasilas Poseidon cycle 10.92 I will enforce the ban on human experimentation in every coming cycle but I fear I cannot do this on my own I need to search for one to lighten the weight of judgment for my shoulders of course, I want to find one of my sons worthy, but wanting it does not make it so. Perhaps Atlas could bear this responsibility in time, but this role must be filled long before he is ready. Some very interesting tidbits. And now I can see why it was necessary to bring me here. Musings on Juno's Expulsion. Historian of Nobility, cycle 9.332. Only once the human threat was truly feared did Juno speak out against them, but behind the veil of her speech, hatred hid. Mistrust of humans grew, and out of fear, Poseidon forbade Juno, her husband, and their few Isu followers from entering his shining city. Though exile would not be enough, as they went from the sister realms back to Feyan and to Saturn's open arms. Some very deep lore going on here. It's fantastic. Next on the list is the Archive of Heat. Be trouble if I'm Let's make our way here. in and clear it out. That noise is annoying.
captain remains in the center. Hopefully I can get around him and take out the other two guards first. Can I climb this? I can. Should guarantee the kill on the heavy. Oh. What is this? Straka. Excellent. Captain's in a good position for an aerial attack. And hopefully the statue doesn't get alerted. Not so lucky. God, I upgraded that, and that is insanely powerful. Okay, let's clear out the rest of this location. Having collected the remaining six adamant ingots, I've decided to return to the Forge of Atlantis and make the other two legendary weapons. So I'm gonna go over here and make, I think this is a spear, not a halberd, like I said last episode. Access granted. Initiating Forge protocol. Select preferred weapon configuration. And because it's a spear, I'm gonna go with the hunter weapon. have the Isu Forged Hunter's Spear. And several new engravings. Access granted. Initiating Forge Protocol. Select preferred weapon configuration. And if the other two were dagger and spear this might be a mace and not a staff so let's go with a warrior weapon adaptation authorized engaging in warrior customization oh boy Fire mid the water is complete. We have all three of our new legendary weapons. I've leveled up to 84.
And with all these new engravings, I've got some stuff to look at in the forge. So here's where I'm going to end episode 104. Thank you for watching, and I hope you join me for the next one. Thanks for watching. If you have any feedback, please leave a comment. And remember to like and subscribe if you're enjoying the content.